When you're installing Cambian's PMP450M, how the actual radio is installed plays a huge role in performance, specifically the tilt of the AP and knowing the difference between mechanical and electrical tilt. In wireless, antenna gain is achieved by focusing or concentrating the beam. The more that the beam is focused, the higher the gain. Beam width typically refers to half power beam width. It defines in degrees the distance from the center of the beam out to the point where half of the power, or 3 dB, is lost. Cambion's PMP450M has an 8 degree elevation beam width. As a result, subscriber modules within the 8 degree beam width benefit from the full gain of the antenna within 3 dB of the published antenna gain. The subscriber modules outside of the 8 degree beam width could see weaker signal levels. Additionally, PMP450M was designed to utilize beamforming, a key characteristic of MUMIMO, to maximize performance. The PMP450M antenna shapes and forms beams, optimizing the power across the azimuth of the sector, as subscriber modules tend to be spread out over the 90 degrees in azimuth, but only a few degrees in elevation. Ensuring the AP is set correctly will optimize the performance and ensure all subscriber modules benefit from MUMIMO. Mechanical tilt refers to the physical tilt applied when mounting the AP. Zero degrees means the back of the AP is plumb. Negative values, also called down tilt, point the AP more towards the earth. Positive values, also called up tilt, point the AP towards the sky. Electrical tilt refers to any angle or tilt that may be built into the antenna based on the way it was designed. For example, PMP450M has an electrical 2 degree down tilt. When calculating the amount of mechanical tilt that is required, consider the electrical down tilt that is already incorporated into the antenna. For example, if 5 degrees of down tilt is needed for the AP, then only 3 degrees of mechanical tilt is needed because 2 degrees of down tilt are already accounted for in the electrical down tilt of the antenna. In this example, if an operator lives in a relatively flat area, and seeks to get max distance by attempting to shoot out over the horizon, then they would want an overall tilt of zero degrees. Because there are two degrees of electrical down tilt, they would want to mount the AP with two degrees of up tilt. Negative two degrees electrical plus two degrees mechanical equals zero degrees overall. The advantage of electrical tilt is that it actually allows the antenna pattern to be reshaped to better suit the real world. With a traditional antenna, if the peak of the beam in elevation is centered on an SM at 5 miles, then SMs on the edge at 5 miles are being overshot by the peak of the beam. Electrical down tilt allows the antenna to be reshaped to follow the curve of the sector and optimize performance throughout the sector rather than just the main part of the beam. With mechanical tilt alone, coverage becomes deformed as tilt departs from 0 degrees. Electrical tilt allows for a certain amount of down tilt without any deformation. As a result, because PMP450M includes two degrees of electrical tilt, you don't need as much mechanical tilt to avoid deformation. Tilt is critical to achieving the best possible performance from any antenna. The calculation for determining tilt relies on height of the AP, height of the SMs, terrain, and concentration of SMs. It's important to use an accurate RF planning tool when determining the proper tilt for an AP. Link Planner, a free tool by Cambia Networks, is one such application. Its capabilities include importing subscriber modules into the tool and running a calc tilt analysis, where each angle is evaluated to see which is the best. Thank you for watching.